Hello, Bill Molino here, and uh, Bill's History and Wargaming World. Well, uh, a few people have asked me how the Risk Waterloo game is coming along. So, our British Order of Battle is pretty much done. I need three more um, battalions of British Line Infantry, and I think one more group of cavalry, and I'm good. We do have our riflemen, along with Sharpie. <laughs> so, um, the Prussians' order of battle, and I still need to paint the barrels on some of these artillery pieces, but this is it for the Prussians. This is, uh, we are good. And then, uh, over here, we have one of our French buildings, La Haye Saint. And that's, uh, that's the Aerofix 172nd kit. So our French, I got a long ways to go. I still need to base these figures, which I don't even know if you can tell. Um, and then I still need three more regiments. And I have more wrist figures coming from Amazon. There's 360 infantry, 72 artillery. 72 cavalry for 24 bucks so uh, still need to make several more regiments of French cavalry our old guard middle guard and young guard are actually lead figures given to me by Frank Prez well as we cruise along the table here's the Hugamont all right I need to paint my gates and the doors uh, gray brown wash wood and this is pretty much done for my game. And we have the paper uh, La Haye Saint, which is a little smaller than the other one. I'm going to use this as that Placent uh, village, however you pronounce that, way off to the right flank of the French. And I got a couple little buildings here for uh, Napoleon's um, place. Uh, help me out there, for God's name, La Belle. Leanson. So, anyhow, this is where we are for the Waterloo game that I plan on playing in memory of my friend Jim McDonald, who passed away a few years ago. And it was his dream to do a giant Waterloo. I'll be using, instead of uh, Warfare in the Age of Napoleon by Todd Kreshner, whose rules are fantastic, I will be using Larry Brahms. Um, I when I was a martial rules sword in the flame style so the rest of the week's videos will all be coming from Fort Frederick in Big Pool Maryland I'll be interviewing different French Indian War officers and they'll be explaining the French Indian War from their points of view several of them belong to the uh, Facebook wargaming site that we have running and uh, I think that's about it uh, thank you for watching and uh, yes I know these are not painted and um, I'm sure by now if you've been watching any of my videos I have some extremely well painted figures but this risk army is not gonna be one of those painted armies so and, uh, you know, it's starting to look impressive for all things considered. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and if you're near Hagerstown, Maryland this weekend, come out to the French Indian War event. Thank you.